this password has a quote in it. I'll just change this to a single quote so it doesn't conflict with each other. Okay, I think that works. <clears throat> then the next one is to grant all privileges on what's it going to on my web on this database that we created here, my web and all the tables. So my web does that means all the tables inside the my web database we are giving this user um, privileges to create, write, delete, update, whatever the user wants to do. So that's why I'm granting all privileges to the user. So I the user and it shows an error. Okay, I didn't include granted access. Okay, so I'll change this to, to um, my web at local host identifier. This one, um, I think the password is the one giving the issues actually. Um, let me try that again. Okay, so grant all privileges on my web dot start to my web at local host identify this this should work actually I think the issue that is actually the password but let me just see you we can get this to work. So let me escape this. As we went. Okay, so I found the issue with what we were experiencing. The issue was with the MySQL server. So I finally removed it and I will go in, I'm going to reinstall the right version of uh, MySQL. The reason why I want to be installing MySQL version 8.0 is because there are still a number of um, differences in the syntaxes that you are going to use and it will make things more complicated for you. So I'll be sticking with the LTS version of um, 5.7, which is what I'm going to install right now. So um, to uninstall this, I just did apt purge um, what's called MySQL server. Then what I'm going to do, I'll try and see if it starts with um the existing data directory so um the mysql data directory is located in slash var slash line slash mysql so this is where all the mysql files are located so i'll be open this will still work if i use um what's it called if i use the new version of mysql i'm going to install but if not i might have to move out this data directory then use that of the um, and create a new one, then we start the whole, whole MySQL installation online. So, um, we'll get right to that now. Okay, to go ahead with this, I will install the um, the MySQL apt config helper so that I can specify the version I'm going to install. So, I'm just going to download this. And after downloading, um, so just for reference, this is what I downloaded. So I'm going to run the next command, which is to install the um, source package itself. So um, I'm going to run that. Sorry.
Okay, so I am this, and I'll just speak um, bionic. So um, I'm going to enter this, then I'll change to 5.7. So then I click on the OK button. So I click on open, then I think that will be all for that. Then we are now left with installing my on itself. So I'm just going, I'm going to do that by running this particular command. Okay, so it's not found. So let's check what's wrong with that. Apps and what is server. So we have MySQL 5.7 showing in the list now. Actually, it's not showing in the list. <laughs> okay, apologies for that. I need to run the apt get on it first. Apt get. Okay, so this will pull new updates from the repo. So you can see it's talking more about the uh, MySQL 5.7. So if you check this now, you can see 5.7 is showing final. So I believe running this should not absolutely be final. Okay, so we have some dependency issues. Okay, so um, the MySQL client is the one breaking this extension. So I'm just going to um, remove that for now. Since so it's not like we actually eventually need it. Okay, so let me just stick with the MySQL server. So, apologies for this. This complication is caused because um, we installed the wrong version in the first place. So, um, okay, let me see if I install it one after the other. Maybe that will work. Okay, so hold on. Let me try and figure this out in the back and then I get back to you. So I think I found what the problem is. So I run it up for GNSQL and it shows that um, some packages were already installed for version 8.0, which is causing the conflict we're experiencing right now. So I'm going to run the apt auto remove uh, what's it called? option. 